Welcome back. 8.40 right now. March is National Colon Cancer Awareness Month. The cancer claims the lives of more than 50,000 people every year. Dr. Eduardo Parra from Good Samaritan Medical Center is joining us now to talk about uh, some prevention here. So, Dr. Parra, thank you for joining us this morning. Good morning. Colonoscopies, uh, they can diagnose the cancer, but uh, you warn that people shouldn't wait really too long before they uh, do something like this, before they get tested. What age do you recommend people start getting tested? I think there's, uh, there's some guidelines have been set up before. I think we're seeing an increase of the incidence in the younger population. So definitely the cutoff right now is about 50 when you're 50 years old. Okay. But I think sooner we're going to have to go a little scale bit. Scale back a little scale bit. Back younger, huh? the 40 years old. 40 years but if you have a history of uh, colon cancer in the family, you have certain risk, you should go earlier than that. Okay. So if you have any symptoms or you have any history, and age, I think, is something that we should consider. All right. Now, I've also uh, heard of virtual colonoscopies. Is, is that something that you recommend? Is that something that's good, as accurate as the standard procedure? Is Right now, it's not considered standard of care yet because it can be therapeutic and diagnostic at the same time. But it's something that it will evolve sooner that may be something that it will be the standard of care. But right now, it's not yet. All right. What's, what's the holdup with trying to get it moved back to, say, age 40 as opposed to 50? Is it insurance? Uh, we're seeing an increase about um, most of the cancers are at the age of 50 or over, 10% okay. or younger. But we're seeing an increase, and we don't understand why. We think that maybe from the food that the younger population is getting lately in the last years, but we don't have a true reason why this is happening, but we see an increase in the younger population. Okay. Um, does this affect uh, men or women more? It's, uh, it's about one, to, 1 in 20 and 1 in 23, um, most in common in men than women, but it's about but it's pretty, pretty much equal. Yeah, pretty equal, yeah, yeah, I would say. All right. Other than uh, getting a colonoscopy, what other signs or symptoms should people be looking for? If, if you have blood in your stool, um, if you have a weight loss as unintended, if you have pelvic pain, if you have uh, any uh, uh, thing that is not what you used to have, like thinner stools when you go to the bathroom, those are things that really will get your attention to go and okay. seek um, attention from medical. Okay. So, uh, what about uh, prevention? Is there some way to help prevent this in, in the future? You know, colon cancer is the most preventive cancer, but it's the least prevent because the, we don't, we're not at the same rate of uh, prevention like uh, breast cancer or lung cancer in the population. We only have about 50% of the population participating in the preventive uh, screening. So this is something that we have to increase. Yes, it's totally preventive. You get it early like an apollo. Right, right. So we encourage the population to please seek medical attention right. if you have your age or any symptoms. Great advice. Thank you, Dr. Power, for joining us today.